Welcome, Hollywood progressive friends and family and viewers. Uh, Dick and Nia and I are here with you again to offer you some insight into a play that we saw actually last night. The name of it is The Sandwich Ministry, and it's playing at the Spotlight Theater in the Los Feliz neighborhood on um, Vermont. Um, Dick is actually going to give us the address. It was written by Miranda Rose Hall and directed by Katie Lindsay. So it takes place in a small town the morning after um, yet another once in a century storm. Yeah. And so when the when it's when the scene opens, you hear the thunder and the lightning and the rain. And then these three women uh, come into what looks like a community center or a church basement. Um, they come in and they were been they've been displaced from their homes by the floods. So. I thought that the the setting was so realistic. I mean, it it didn't even look like a a, a stage. It no. looked like it was it was actually a church. Someone put a church. <laughs> it like it was like a real community center or or a church um, gathering space. Um, and the there were just three act actors, and these three actors, it, it felt to me like they just really weren't acting. It just felt like they were just having conversations about some tough stuff. So Nia, what, what did you think about the, the setting and the acting and so on? Yeah, I agree. We walked in and it seemed like there was a theater on one side where the seats were. And then on the other side was just a, a church or a community center, some other totally separate building. So absolute the biggest, biggest kudos to them for that. Uh, same thing with the sound effects and visual effects. I, I believe that there was a thunderstorm, you know, another once in a century storm happening just outside the walls. Uh, and we were in very dry uh, part of California. So yeah, uh, wonderful uh, techniques going on. Uh, I also agree with Sharon. It just felt like three women, three different walks of life at three different stages of life coming together again, apparently. Um, to help their town in a time of severe crisis. Um, I really enjoyed how the story unlayered itself. It definitely felt like we were sort of, you know, peeling off a layer of each character and learning about each of them very, very naturally. Um, I think the two biggest things that I, I enjoyed the most about this play, the first one was, um, the playwright did a great job of writing three different voices at three different stages of life of womanhood. We had the youngest and then a, um, who was probably 20s maybe. Uh, and then there was uh, a woman who was, I guess, in her 50s. And then there was an older woman who was probably 70s or 80s maybe in the show. I don't think she actually is that age, but I think in the show, she was probably in her 70s. Um, and the unique voices that each one had and their unique perspectives and where they were in life and how uh, the church plays a role in their lives was really, um, it was believable and it was honest and it felt like, yeah, that I can totally see that. And it also brought unique um, viewpoints for them to discuss while they were in this tight space. I also enjoyed the uh, how complex the, these characters' lives were um, without ever actually leaving this room, I had a full understanding of each of these characters' lives, and I had a very good image of the kind of life that they were living um, at home. Um, and that's something that you don't see very often. Usually, you have believable characters in plays, but sometimes you don't feel like you really know them. These three women, I felt like we knew them, I felt like we were friends, and I felt like we were just watching them talk to each other, and we were maybe a fourth person Kind of just sitting there helping as opposed to an audience member which was a unique experience um this is one play that i thought could have probably been another 20 30 minutes longer the ending came very quickly for me i think that's probably my only um, not critique but the one thing that i noticed was we had all this nice slow progression of their stories and the you know the main conflict that was came up between the three of them and then all of a sudden it was all tied up and done and it was kind of a whiplash for me. But still, I understood the beginning, middle and end. And um, I enjoyed the, the honest, um, the honest opinions of how uh, religion 
played a role in these three women's lives and how particularly I identified, maybe surprising for some, but I identified with the youngest character mm -hmm. um, and sort of her questioning of the urgency of um, things happening in the world, like climate change, how quickly our planet is sort of dying on us because we're slowly killing it and how there's sort of this sense of we're not doing enough quick enough to do much about it and that sort of panic that comes with that and equally I felt that that was uh, addressed to an extent as much as someone can in a what 75 minute play um, so there were problems presented from each of the three and it did I felt like each of them got some sort of response that was acceptable and yeah it was enjoyable I liked it what did you guys think? So it's it's uh, written by Miranda Rose Hall and and directed by Katie Lindsay. Um, so the three women were not just random women from the town. They were they they all had a history. They had a back history, and and it was and it was painful. They, there were some divisions. That, uh, uh, two of them at least didn't want to be in the same room together, or one of them didn't want to be in the room with the the middle character. And and the play evolved how that was how 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 one person felt abandoned and cheated and and then we we in time we learned how it was it it did seem I mean it was it was a very naturalistic play I mean nothing really happens other than uh, two dozen sandwiches get made but the feelings all get, get evolved and and you do feel like you're you're just uh, you're like the fourth person in a room where three people are having a conversation. Uh, it's a wonderful area to to go to a, a play. I mean, there's there's all kinds of restaurants right you know right on the same block. Uh, the theater is 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 unusual, uh, but very effective. Uh, very effective. Uh, I I wonder if I had a feeling when we went in there that that wasn't built as a theater, but but it was like a a storeroom that had been uh, fixed with 40 lights added. It was a, a very pleasant experience, uh, touching. Uh, I, I, I agree with one or both of you that it, it kind of resolved a little fast. Uh, the, the, the conflict resolved itself in, in maybe not a surprising way, but it was surprisingly quick. I think all three of us recommend seeing it. I, I think it's a world premiere i think this this showing is the first place the play has ever shown so it's it's one to support yeah yeah i think the writer did a really great job of conveying that there was conflict but she did it in a way that was not over dramatic um and and you know there wasn't a whole lot of bells and whistles just like life and you could go in that room like a fly on the wall and know immediately that there was an issue between two of the characters. And it really, uh, she she was able to, to convey that message quite effectively. Yeah, I thought rather than in another play, there might have been shouting scenes yeah. and so forth. But here it was like body posture, turning mm -hmm. away mm -hmm. or, or, or frowning mm -hmm. when somebody, you know, but you, you picked it all up. You saw yeah. it. They, there were three, I think, Pretty wonderful actor actors. I thought that they did a very nice job of it. Yeah. Cool. Final thoughts? Go see it. Yeah, yeah. go see it. Go see it. See you next week, folks. Thank you for sticking around. If you like the LA Progressive content and the discussions we have here, please consider clicking the subscribe button below and also give us a thumbs up. That helps to grow our audience by feeding the algorithm, which helps to get this content in front of more eyes. Thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate your support.